today's therapists are really the high priests that that um, make these decisions about who to have or not have in your life. So, um, and the definition of what's considered healthy has also radically changed. So, so in earlier generations, say pre nineteen sixty, the role of a therapist was probably to help the adult child become more, um, you know, to have stronger family values, et cetera, to be um, more in line with ideals around duty uh, as a form of responsibility. And today, the notion of duty, um, of obligation, of even caretaking, guilt, shame, those are all considered to be potentially problematic um, obstacles on the path to self-discovery. So from my perspective, there's been a shift in the moral framework away from honor thy mother and thy father, respect thy elders, which you sort of owe to older generations, uh, to a much more personal psychological perspective of, of health. So the other moral framework that's been replaced is this idea of, I have to um, only have relationships that are protective of my mental health. And that's a very strong thing that I hear a lot from adult children. Well, I can't have you around me or my children because it's not good for my mental health. Now, on the one hand, fair enough, right? We do, Nobody wants anybody in their life that's problematic to their mental health. But the idea of what causes mental illness is also highly problematic because we still live in a culture that's very captured by this much more psychoanalytic, psychodynamic uh, definition of uh, adult outcomes, where we assume that if you arrive into adulthood and you have significant anxiety or depression or low self-esteem or lack of confidence, that it, it can all be dialed back to hidden traumas or prior traumas or family relationships. There is a saying by the uh, Israeli sociologist, Eva Alouz, that I think is very useful here. Alouz says, um, today our lives are implotted backwards. What's a dysfunctional family? It's a family where your needs weren't met. How do you know that your needs weren't met? By looking at your present condition. So the idea is if you have problems, you assume that it has to do with your parents, which sure, sometimes it does, but it's also random good luck, random bad luck, genetics, cohort, siblings, other important relationships. So all of these things have put enormous pressure on the parent-adult-child relationship in ways that I think are very problematic.